Good evening, Christopher. Italian culture has been alive and well this weekend at Festa Italia. Now we've been taking in the sights, sounds, and the tastes of this festival, but more importantly, the history. This is it. This gives you a lot of pride, a lot of feeling, and you know, I say a lot of respect. Celebrating Festa Italia against the backdrop of the historic Fisherman's Wharf that started it all. Monterey Bay is beautiful, a lot of history. Huh? History centered around the contributions of Italians to the fishing industry. And so they, uh, the fishermen came here and they fished Monterey Bay. When it comes to Italian culture, everyone can agree there are two things that reign supreme. I like the food and, of course, the music. The food, is, uh, it's good. if it's good to be appreciated and be advertised, the music will be the same thing. You get the good music and people come back. Italian music and the food. When I grew up in an Italian family, you, you never went hungry. If you walked in the house, you got to eat. Those traditions against this backdrop a reminder for some that their Sicilian roots are never too far away. When I went there, uh, I felt like I was in Monterey. I mean, it was the same kind of coastline, it was the same kind of cove. If you see Monterey, you look like you're in Sicily. So does it remind you of home a little bit then? Very much, very much. <laughs> a slice of home for Sicilians here on Monterey Bay. Now, one of the biggest draws to Festa Italia is the bocce tournament that also wraps up tonight. And organizers say Festi Festa Italia is really for the young folks that they carry along this generation here in Monterey, this festival, for years and years to come. Christopher. Thank you, Sierra. Hopefully they can keep it going. And speaking of the younger generation, every year the Festa Italia Foundation awards $5,000 in scholarships to local students.